Hey FlossTube, it's Jen from Jen Stitching Edge back for my 10th video. Um, sorry for the delay. I know I said I was going to be more um, regular at uh, videotaping or excuse me, posting videos, but it's been a crazy month. Um, last night I was watching Priscilla and Chelsea, who I love to watch, and they mentioned that I needed to do a video. And I'm like, I am, I'm doing one tomorrow. So it is Sunday. October 29th. It's in the afternoon. I've got the house to myself. Um, my husband and older son are out gaming with a group of their friends and my younger son just called because he um, his car's broken down. He was working at the on a project at school and so I'm like call your dad. He's in town. He can help you. So but I have this house to myself for a little bit. Um, it's been very busy with the textbook work and everything, but I've had some stitchy time and I've had some crafting time, so I'll share some of the th stuff that I've done. Um, some life updates. Um, I went to the stitching retreat in Memphis, hosted by Katrina Boyd, and it was phenomenal. Thank you, Katrina. I needed that. Those three days were a blessing. They kind of reset me. My stress level um, has been pretty high this semester, and that helped a lot. Um, if you have not gone to one of Katrina's retreats, you should go. I have to um, thank Dina at Half Stitch Cross Stitch because she mentioned it. I mentioned Katrina's retreats about, I guess it was January of last year on one of her videos and I immediately looked it up and signed up to go to the retreat in Orange Beach, Alabama and we were hooked. So I, that was my third retreat, um, the one in Memphis. I'm going to go to many more. So, um, Katrina's amazing. She's a sweetheart. I love to Katrina. Katrina, you need to make floss tube videos so everybody understands just how wonderful you are. She's wonderful. Um, let's see what else. I took a group of students to Atlanta, Georgia. Didn't get to do any stitching. Didn't get to go to any stitching type stuff because I had a bunch of 18 year olds, but stressful. I'm a stressy kind of person. I can think of the worst case scenario and then multiply that times 10 and it's all going to be my fault. And so I worry and I worry and I worry. And I worried myself into a frenzy about this trip. Um, I had to drive a 15 passenger van in Atlanta traffic on a Friday morning and I survived. Um, the students were great. I had a, a person, a staff member from the Honors College help by driving a second van. She deserves an award. She was amazing. So thank you, Leslie, for helping me not go insane. Um, the students were great. No problems. Everything went according to plan. Um, but I still was stressed out. And actually, I woke up. We left on a Thursday, drove over, spent the night, got up Friday and went to the CDC. We went to World of Coca-Cola. And we went to the aquarium and all of those have some relation to the topic of our course which is on curiosity and developing a curious mind and what it means to ask good questions and then we're going to move on and talk about what do we what does it mean to answer those good questions so they had to relate those topics to um the places we visited so the students are actually doing presentations now and they did a great job i was impressed with them but it still stressed me out. It still was overwhelmingly stressful for me because that's my personality. I had no business signing up and doing this, but um, I woke up Saturday, the day we were driving home, and this whole half of my eye was red, not from uh, inflammation, but a blood vessel burst, and it was just bloody underneath the tissue. It was gross looking. Uh, nobody wanted to look at me. I didn't want to look at me. But um, it took about a week and a half for it to clear up, and that's why I haven't made my videos, because I didn't want to scare all of you with my crazy eye. So, um, but I've survived. I'm so happy that's over. My students are like, we can tell your stress level is lower. You're, you're smiling more. I'm like, I know, because y'all all survived. So um, it was fun, but I don't, it's not for me. I don't do well with that. So, um, what else has happened? Oh, I did the drawing. So my last video, I had a drawing for my reaching a 
I think it was 1,500 subscribers or 1,200 subscribers. I think it's 1,200 subscribers. And um, 135 pe people entered, and the winner was Shelly Quex, who I hope has received her packet. It was um, She actually ordered from my Etsy store as well. So um, she got a lot of really cool things, I think. Um, thank you everyone for entering. I really appreciate it. I loved all the comments and um, the, what people like to stitch is Christmas and Halloween. Lots and lots of Christmas, lots and lots of Halloween, which I understand. There's lots and wonderful patterns out there for both of those. Um, while I was at the retreat, I stitched on a lot of different things, but I didn't finish anything. I took, I think, 30 different projects. I know that's crazy, but when we go to retreats, my sisters and I have this crazy thing we do. We set a timer and every hour we switch projects because we're, we've are we got all our threads there. We all stitch in hand, so it's not a big deal to put a project down and pick another thing up. So I took enough projects that I could stitch on something. Every hour I switched projects. I didn't get bored. I know some people, people get crazy about this they're like why are you doing that they're so concerned it's like it's okay it's you don't have to change this just does but people get really just freaked out about it but that's what we do we have fun we've done that at every retreat we've gone to um we you know it's like if we all say clean cup clean cup move down move down so that's that's from um alice in wonderland and we just i mean it's just go give the thing we like to do um, and I did that. My sister, Bridget, who was at the retreat this time, she did that somewhat, but she took a lot of naps. Every time she's like, I gotta take a nap. But it was her retreat, whatever makes her happy. And, um, Lisha, our friend that went with us, she didn't, I don't think she changed projects as much. She's not, she doesn't have as many whips as I do. And she finishes things really quickly. So maybe I should be more like Lisha. No, I like what I'm doing. So, um, but I, we had a great time. We did go to a stitching store in Memphis, which I think is called Stitchers Incorporated. I think that's the name of it. It's a really cute shop. It's not a small shop, and they've got lots of Mill Hill kits, like a whole wall of Mill Hill. They've got a lot of different fibers for like needlepoint because they have needlepoint canvases as well. They have a pretty good selection of cross-stitch, pretty, you know, uh, good collection of the new things. And then they also have older things. I found a couple of old charts, not a lot. Um, but one thing that I didn't purchase, but I did see there, because someone has asked about this, is the Mill Hill book that this came out of. So I've shown this before. This is just a gingerbread village from Mill Hill. And it's in a booklet. And somebody had it sent me a message and asked me which book it was. And I couldn't find it because I don't have the book any longer. And I've looked and I've Googled and I couldn't find it. Well, they had it at the shop. It's called Santa's Holiday. It's the last Mill Hill booklet Mill Hill published. One of those multiple project booklets. Um, and that, that Stitchers Incorporated, they had it. So if you're interested, they had two copies. So call them. I don't have their number. It's Memphis Stitchers Incorporated. Um, if it, you can't find anything, just send me a message and I'll see what I can do. Um, let's see. So that was a good trip. We had so much fun. And I can't wait for the next retreat, which I've already signed up for two or three more retreats with Katrina because she's amazing. Um, Atlanta trip, I talked about that already. It was, it's over. So, um well, I've been working on lots of projects. I, you know, I do my three-day rotation and then my whip of the day. Um, I have not stitched as much as I would like to, but I have been stitching. Um, what has got my attention right now is finishing up the ancillaries for our small textbook. As soon as I finish this video, I'm going to go work on the last section of that, and hopefully we'll finish it up either tonight or tomorrow night but it will be done before the end of October. And then I just need to focus on my chapters in the two semester book. Oh, it's gonna be so nice to have just one book to deal with. Um, I have a great team. I love my team and they're very helpful. 
So thank you for patient, being patient with me. Um, the semester is almost over. We got about five weeks of class left. It's about time for the students to do all the hard work. I'll, two of my classes, I do presentations and then at the end the students do presentations. I love it when it's student presentation because I just listen. Those start next week with one of my class and they are going on with my other class. Um, my a and classes, we've made it through the hardest part. They've worked very hard. It's not an easy class. So you can't make it easy. Nursing majors, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's tough. Um, it's been tougher than normal this semester for some reason, but we're going to make it through it. Christmas is just around the corner. I think we're all looking forward to Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving and then we got a week and then it's over. So I'm looking forward to Christmas. I'm looking forward to this semester being done. Um, it has just been, and I, every person that knows me has listened to me complain, but we are surviving. It's almost over. Um, let me think. What else did I want to share? Well, I'll just do crafting in general. So, last weekend, I refused to work on Sunday. And I, I had some friends come over and we crafted. And I was so excited when I watched Lori on Mischievous Stitches. She did a tutorial on how to make those decoupage pumpkins. My hair looks weird. Hold on, i got to fix it. Um, so I made one. Isn't that a beautiful pumpkin? Thank you, Lori, for sharing that. It was so much fun. And I, this is one of my favorite projects I've ever done. I just look at it and I'm like, I can't believe I did that. I took it to work. I never share my crafting with the people I work with because I don't know what they think about it, but they had to look at it. I'm like, look at this pumpkin. People on the sidewalk, look at this pumpkin. I made this. Isn't that beautiful? It is gorgeous. So if you want to know how this is done, go to Lori's channel, Mischievous Stitches. She has a great tutorial. I got my pumpkin at Hobby Lobby. I got my the picks at Hobby Lobby and Joann's. And then my fabric is just fabric out of my stash. So, but you can do all kinds of things. So love it. This is going to be um, out for both Thanksgiving and thanks, um, ha Halloween and Thanksgiving, blah, blah, blah. So love it. Thank you, Lori. Um, another thing that happened over the past month is the state fair. Um, I, I have been entering things in the, our state fair for, I think, the past five years. Um, it is not like other state fairs. We are a poor state. Apparently, we're so poor, we can't afford much more than just the basic ribbons. Um, I entered 11 things into the state fair, and I got nine blue ribbons and two red ribbons. So I was going to show you. Well, first, let me show you our ribbons. So these are our ribbons. And I got my nine blue and my two red. And um, they do have best in class. But that's it. It's just best in class. And then there's one prize that goes to the person who wins the most blue ribbons in your category. So, you know, if you sweep it, that means you got a blue ribbon in every category. Um, and it's just a prize, a money prize. There's, And you don't get any money for these. You only get it if you get best in class and you get the most overall blue ribbons. If you get best in class, which I've gotten best in class once last year, you get this blue ribbon, and when you turn it over on the back, it just says best, like handwritten best. So, poor state. Mississippi is poor state. We can't afford those fancy ribbons, apparently. But that's our ribbons, which I love. I'm okay with it. I mean, you can see uh -huh. see the yellow on that doorknob. That's all my, my ribbons over the years. Um, I just love getting all the ribbons. So what did I enter? I entered Frady Felix from Brenda Gervais. This is not a pillow. You cannot enter something like this according to the lady that I talked to as a pillow. It has to be like a pillow off of a bed or a pillow off of a couch. Just because it's stuffed and somebody would say, hand me that, don't call it a pillow because this ain't a pillow according to Mississippi State Fair. Um... I entered this, not a pillow. 
You can call it a decoration, but you can't enter it as a pillow. You got a blue ribbon for that. That's um, Crow on a Pumpkin. It's out of Just Cross Stitch Halloween, some issue. I entered this from Chessie and Me. Got a blue ribbon, and I'm surprised because that's not the greatest finishing job. Inside's even worse. They gave me a blue ribbon. Thank you, Mississippi. Got a blue ribbon from my Halloween house from Just Nan. Had to repair it because they messed up the top, but I fixed that. Um, I sound very petty about, I'm not saying, trying to be mean about it, but it is a little bit ridiculous about what you can enter and not enter in the state fair. So They need to promote it more. I got a blue ribbon for my little sequin hat. And what else? Oh, got a blue ribbon for this. This is, I forget the designer. I want to say heartstring. No, homespun elegance. I got a blue ribbon for All Hallows Eve from Chessie and Me. That was my small framed piece. And I got a red ribbon for um, this little rabbit that I sewed for my niece. It's at their house. They just entered it, and then when the thing was over, they kept that. I got a blue ribbon for this. This is one of those covered um, tape measures from Old Colonial. So, and I mean, that's how tiny that is so cute and I got a red ribbon for this and I thought they were very nice to give me a red ribbon so this is an applique quilt can you see that I can't see what you see here let me see that so this is my first ever applique quilt it's a little owl quilt I took a class and this was the project I signed up for this class back in 2009 and I finally finished the quilt this past year. And it's cute and you can't see all the flaws from there, but there are lots of flaws. Like it's a machine applique quilt and I didn't know what I was doing when I started and my applique is not on point. Because I didn't know I was supposed to be on the edge. But that's okay. My, my corners are horrible. But they gave me a red ribbon, so, I mean, look, that's horrible, Jennifer, but that's okay. So I was happy with my red ribbon on this one, and I will hang this up for Thanksgiving downstairs. So, oh, y'all see, I've got my pajama pants on. It's Sunday afternoon. I'm relaxing, so. Um, so those were my state fair entries. I have so much fun doing this. I'm obsessed, so at some point in my life I'm going to enter something in every category that I can possibly do that if I do the craft I'm going to enter something um, my sister-in-law told me they're changing up the categories for next year so I'm like oh I hope it's things that I normally do because I want to like win that prize for most blue ribbons I'm as obsessed about that as Vanna was about Grand Champion um, I would we don't have those at our state fair so I've shown you my crafting other than cross stitch. So now I'll show you some cross stitch stuff. So I did have a finish. You know, I have not, I try to get two finishes each month. And I've been doing two or three. I, I mean, I'm up to 30 finishes this year. I've been doing great. But this month, I have not. I didn't realize I had not finished anything until I went to write down my first finish, which was on October 27th. But this is it, and I think it's beautiful. I do not know the, how to pronounce the name of this. This is from Turnacotong. It's a Christmas tree. It has all kinds of specialty stitches, and it's supposed to have all these little buttons on it, but I don't have those buttons yet. Here is the cover of the chart, which I ripped, sorry. So that's the name down there, and it's Turnacotong. But it is so pretty. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to finish it as a pillow. 
and I'm going to put it in a state fair next year. Okay, so that's my only finish, but I'm almost finished with another one. So this is my other, it's not FFF, right, Lori? It's not far from finished. It's so close to finished. So SC, SCTF. Um, it is Halloween rules. So Chelsea, you can do it. You got a couple more days. I finished the Be Spooktacular last night watching your video. So not the whole time. I think I spent an hour and a half on it. All I have left to do, see that black cat? I've got to bring the border all the way down and across the bottom. And I'm going to do that tonight. And then the skeleton guy um, have, had to pull out his rib cage and I've got to put that back in. And then just go in and put the buttons. Now, I did this as a um, round robin with my sister Sharon and Bridget. Sisters Sharon and Bridget. And so we should be finished. The schedule was that we would finish last month. But when we started this in January, we were all doing great. And then our dad had a stroke in February. And that just threw us all off. Um, he's doing great. He's doing fine. Um, well, he doesn't think so, but he's doing fine. Um, but we are all almost back on track. So I think I'll be the first to finish. And then Sharon should finish hers pretty quickly. She's a fast stitcher. Bridget, she's a slow stitcher. But I, I picked out this fabric and people were like, I don't think it's going to look good. And I just told them, trust me. And I think it looks fabulous. It is so pretty. This is Peoria Purple Weeks Dye Works Linen from, well, 30 count. So cute. I'm going to frame that and hang it up next year. I'm going to put this in the state fair. Checking those things off. I'm going to have all kinds of fair entries. Let's see. What else? This is what I'm currently stitching on. Let me see if I can find the cover. Do, do, do. Oh, did I not bring it? Oh, well. This is Spooky Tree by Barbara Anna Designs. So there's this little crow, which is so cute. I have one of my students in my honors college class. She's so funny. She's like, oh, Dr. Reagan, it makes me want to cry. So every time I look at this now, I'm like, oh, it makes me want to cry. But um, I know that's goofy. But this is the crow. And then there's a skull and crossbones right below him and then a pumpkin right below him. And so I did that last night as well. So cute. So it's Spooky Tree by Barbara Anna Designs. And I'm just stitching this on, I think this is 28 count or 32 count natural linen. I had started the Halloween rules on that and didn't like it. I'm glad I switched to the purple. So that's what I'm stitching on tonight. Now my future plans for next week I am going out of town. I have a conference in Boulder, Colorado. We're leaving out on um, Friday, and I'll be there Friday through Monday. So I may take something to stitch. I may not. I don't know. But what I'm on schedule to stitch includes Strawberry Stitches by Jeanette Douglas. So I just have the border done, but I have Monday through Wednesday I'll stitch on this. I love her stuff. And then on Wednesday, Thursday, no, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'm scheduled to stitch Summer at Cherry Hill by Brenda Gervais. I don't have very much done, just a little bit of the lettering. Oops, sorry. I'll probably take this with me to Boulder because I have the flight is a fairly long flight um, and I can stitch those stitch that okay so that's my my three day focus pieces other things I'll be stitching on I'll be one of day I'm gonna spend some time on Santa's Village and I'm getting close to this one so this is my progress on Santa's Village so I lost the chart for that one that's on that this one down here. I can't find my chart. So I'm gonna have to buy that thing again, darn it. But 
I mean, I spent a day on this one and have it almost completed. I just have to put the bottom. But these are so much fun to stitch. So Priscilla and Chelsea, look, I, we stitch a lot of the same things. So cute. So that's a one-day focus is on that. And then a couple of other things that I didn't pull out. I'm sorry. So let's see. What else do I have to show? Um, I have made some purchases. Uh, last week, one of my three-day focus pieces was this guy right here. And I love him. So I collect Santas. My son was in the Wizard of Oz in high school, so of course I have to buy this. But I didn't pay attention to all the things I needed to finish this. This is an expensive chart, just all of the things. But I've gotten this far. I've spent a day on this. So cute. And then I didn't have all of the Krynix stuff, so I went online because you can do that sitting at your, you know, you can spend money. Right there, tick, 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 tick. You just spend the money, nothing hurt at all. So I did that and received $30 worth of Krynik and memory threads to add to the collection. So eventually I'll finish this little guy when he comes back around. So that was one thing I worked on. Um, the other thing I've been doing is stash unload which I don't buy a lot of stuff on Stash Unload, but then I get obsessed with things, and I've mentioned that a couple of times today. I get obsessed with things. So right now I'm obsessed with Marjolaine Bastion and her birds. Um, I bought this one on Stash Unload or eBay. can't remember, but it's so cute. We have bluebird houses all around our farm. My dad has built probably 50 of them. And so I'm going to stitch that eventually. And then thanks to Jessica, I think this is your fault. I got this on Stash and Load as well. And I love the idea of just stitching portions of that, like the three ladybugs or just the mushroom. So pretty. That's another one. What else do I want? I want this one. And I want, let's see, this one. Oh, that one. That's the other one I'm looking for. So cute. And then when I was at the stitching retreat, we went to Stitchers Incorporated. You know, you see charts. You've seen them all these years. And you're like, yeah, that's cute. I don't, until you see a model. And you see the model and you're like, I have to have that. So this one little chart just because of one little tiny pillow that I saw. So this is a Prairie Schooler. It's a reprint of one of the old charts. But they had this little guy finished at Stitchers Incorporated, and it was amazingly adorable. And I'm like, I gotta have that. So then I'm like, wait a minute. When you look at them, they're all cute. That little cat, I can do that one. And then this turkey, I love that. So I've seen this chart, but it wasn't until I saw that model that I really realized how much I loved it. So I'm excited about that. Um, other than that, I'm trying not to buy a bunch of other stuff. Ha ha ha. Because I do buy stuff. But what has been good with the, the Etsy store is sometimes I can just buy it and put it in my Etsy store and then I feel like I've bought it. Um, which brings me to... Pretty, what is it? Pretty Southern Stitcher. If you haven't watched her videos, you should go watch her videos. She's so funny. She's so cute. And she stitches really great stuff. So she's been showing those little tiny stockings that I remember when they came out. I thought they were cute, but nothing that exciting until she showed them on her floss tube video. And then I had to have them. Then I'm like, you can't stitch all the things. So I bought them and put them in my Etsy store. So they're cute little stockings. I didn't realize that there were three stockings for each chart. So that's not too bad. So thank you um, for that. Pretty Southern Stitcher. Um, let's see, what else have I become obsessed with? Oh, I am still looking. You know, I still, every chance I get, I look for the um, dimple designs and... Um, Professor Fisby, Fisby, the bugs. 
I love those charts. I, you know, and I actually joined the Facebook group for that. So that was exciting. Congratulations, um, Stitching May. She got a nice little haul on eBay and got one of the um, moths, which is really pretty. Um, I've been watching a lot of floss tube. That's my only entertainment is watching floss tube, except now we're watching Stranger Things. My husband and son want me to watch it with them, so we do. But I love, you know, I watch floss tube. That's that's what I do. I, when I'm days over, 8 o'clock at night, I go sit down and watch a couple of floss tube. I've been trying to do better about commenting, um, but I watch it on television, so it's hard for me to comment. And our internet, you know, only one device can run on the internet, apparently. Um, some new to me floss tubers. Well, she's not new to me, but she's new to floss tube. And that's Teresa. Teresa Vinette is um, doing floss tube now. She posted her first video. It's under Kitten Stitcher. She's phenomenal. You should definitely go watch her video. Um, so this weekend was the stitching retreat in Minnesota, hosted by um, Mama Joan and Farm Girl. And... I was watching Michelle Garrett, Bendy Stitchy, and she got all excited because the, there was one of the ladies from Raise the Roof was going to be at the stitching retreat. And I'm like, what? I know it's not Teresa because she's working this weekend. That means it's Sue. And Sue didn't mention that she was going to the stitching retreat. So I texted her. I'm like, are you going? And it took a while and she finally texted me back and said, yeah, I'm, I'm there. And so Sue is a, a wonderful person. She's super sweet. She was um, Teresa's partner in Raise the Roof. So super sweet person. If you haven't met her, I don't think she could be mean to anybody. Maybe she can. She works at a hospital. So you got to have some, you know, got to be tough in some ways. But she's super sweet. And um, so she's, uh, she was texting me from the retreat and sending pictures and stuff. So thank you, Sue, for letting me live vicariously through you so I could participate in that. It was so much fun. It is. I love floss tube. I love the fact that there are people that I would never talk to or never been able to communicate with that are friends with me now because of floss tube that share the same interests that I have. I mean, it's just exciting that there are so many of us and we don't have to all agree on everything. We don't. And that's fine. That's what makes the world go round. But we do love cross-stitching. We do love crafting. We do love doing this you know, fun hobby, and it's exciting to get to meet and interact with people that have so much excitement for it as well. Um, I, there's so many floss tubers that I love to watch that it would be crazy for me to try to list them, but, you know, the ones that check up on me, thank you. I mean, Suzette from Primitive Stitcher, thanks. You're, you're a sweetheart, and I love watching your videos, you are an inspiration. Um, I keep making my husband come in and look at all of your decorations. I'm like, we need to do that, and we need to do that. And it's just, she's amazing. Uh, of course, Vanna. Love you, Vanna. Um, I love Lori from Mischievous Stitches. I cried with you this past week. It's just, you're an amazingly strong woman. So, um, Night Owl Stitcher, you make me smile. And I know you go to Katrina's retreat, so eventually we're going to have to end up at the same retreat sometime. Um, she is just, she's a positive person, and that's great. Um, if you don't watch Jimmy Floss Tube, you got to watch Jimmy Floss Tube. He's hilarious. But Emily, you're a saint. Um, Emily C., she is, she reminds me of Teresa. I don't know if anybody else sees that, but they are very similar. If you gave Teresa a southern accent, you'd have Emily C. Um, and that's a compliment because Teresa's amazing. Emily, you're amazing too. Um, I'm happy to see Trisha at Three Owl Threads making videos. I missed her. Um, we have a lot in common. There's just maybe things you don't realize that we have in common. We have a lot in common. Um, Tracy P. I always love her videos. And, um, you know, I keep thinking of more and more Priscilla and Chelsea. I watch hers. I watch their videos just for inspiration. Who doesn't love Priscilla and Chelsea? Um, Bendy Stitchy. Again, a positive person. These people are just happy. 
um, Annette's Acre. She just did a, a stash parade of her Mill Hill kits, and that was exciting. Um, there's so many people, and um, it's just fun to be able to watch everyone's videos and see how everybody's doing every day. And we do get concerned. I, I realize that I do that. When someone doesn't post a video for a while, I'm like, I hope everything's okay. You know, what? And I'm bad about thinking, well, you shouldn't contact people. You don't know anybody. You don't, they don't want to hear from you. But it does make me feel good when somebody contacts me. So um, it's a good community. And again, I just want to say thank you for letting me participate. So I think that, oh, there's one more thing I want to share that has nothing to do with cross stitch. Um, it has crafting and it's my sister-in-law. So my sister-in-law lives next door to me. They have a farm right next to ours. And um, she doesn't, doesn't stitch much. She's more, she likes to do other kinds of craft. And lately she's been working on stained glass art. And she's very artistic. Um, and she's made several stained glass pieces. She entered something in the fair and got a blue ribbon. And you know, it's just really pretty stuff, but she posted something. So she's selling her stuff on uh, Facebook. She has a Facebook page, and I'm going to link it below for those that are interested. It's not cross-stitching. It's not, you know, the pricing is a lot different, but she's an amazing artist. And she posted this yesterday on our Hattiesburg Buy, Sell, and Trade, which is one of those, you know, Facebook kind of garage sale type thing. And I'm like texting her saying, don't sell that on. I want it. I bought it because it is amazing. So I'm going to show you what my sister-in-law made. Now, three years ago, we took a class. She and my older sister, Sharon, and I took a class on stained glass. She would, she would, Mari, my sister-in-law, did a great job, but this is what she's doing now, and I bought this from her. She designed this and made this in a day. Is that not amazing? And it is stained glass that she has piece together. Amazing. So if you're interested in her work, I will link her Facebook below. She's eventually, I, I sent her a message. I'm like, you cannot sell that on Facebook, buy, sell, and trade. You need to get your own Etsy store. So she's going to open an Etsy store. Look at the detail of the face. I mean, you can tell that's supposed to be a face. I'm just amazed. So, so again, if you're interested, I'll link it below. But I'm so excited because I got to buy that. Oh man, she is talented. So, so that is an update, a quick update for me. It's 38 minutes, but that's pretty quick for me. I hope I spoke to everything. Um, I hope I didn't lose too many people in my rambling. But I will be more. Um, regular with my video updates. I'm going to start doing my video updates on Sundays when the guys are not at home. Um, I'm starting to be better at organizing my stuff so that I can put this together quicker. And um, I'll continue to watch everybody's video because you guys keep me entertained. You're what helps me make it through the day sometimes when I don't have to think of all the work stuff. Um, if you have any questions, uh, just comment below and I'll answer the questions that I can. Um, if you're interested, again, I have the Etsy store. So I sell cross stitch materials. Um, it's Jen Stitching Niche. And everybody, it's so funny how everybody's like niche, niche. It's niche, like rich. Uh, it's biological. That's the, the terminology that we use in biology. That means your place of work or your place of function. So that's, you know, that's what it means. That's my scientific kind of twist on my cross stitching. So it's Jen Stitching Niche. And, um, you know, if you're interested, go and look. I got a lot of cool stuff in this past week, which is fun. And I'll probably place another big order because Hoffman has got lots of great things out lately. So um, check that out. And I'll link it below as well. But thank you for listening to me ramble for about 40 minutes and have a good week. Um, happy Halloween for those of you that are celebrating Halloween. Stay safe out there trick-or-treating, and I will see you in a couple of weeks.